Welcome back folks. What we are going to learn today is how to set up SSH keys into GitHub and uh, how to set up a project locally and then push that uh, project which is actually a Java project into GitHub. Okay, so this is my website folks coachdevops.com. I do have all the steps documented. Okay, so let's quickly see what we are going to do. So this is a use case, right? Uh, so like I mentioned, let's say this is your local machine. You want to contribute to GitHub, right? So let's say you are a new developer, uh, join the team. Um, now, you know, all the source code is actually set up in GitHub. You want to actually contribute to the project. So what are the steps you are going to do, right? So these are the steps you will be actually doing. So you'll, uh, you'll be actually setting up a repository. In our case, it may be already there, or I will also show you how to set up a repository. Uh, from the beginning and once you have a repository set up you'll have to go into your local machine and uh, create SSH keys using SSH key gen command uh, that will actually create a public key as well as private key and then you'll have to upload uh, the public keys into github once you do it and then you know you should be able to clone that repository locally and we will use maven to create a java project and then we're going to push that uh, java project into github okay so this is what we are going to do. I hope you know this is clear and what is the prerequisite right so obviously you have to have a github account and then make sure you do have git client install on your machine and then, and then also maven on your machine as well okay because we are going to create java project using maven okay all right guys so let's get uh, started all right folks so this is my github.com I am already logged in I'm going to actually go ahead and create a repository so click on new and uh, mention some uh, repo name so i'm going to say my repo obviously it is there i'm going to say my repo for java ah, okay and uh, yeah you can leave description that's optional i actually want to create a private repository okay so you don't want to create public repository you know when you do that you know anyone would have access so let's actually do a private repository you can check this option if you want to actually create with the readme file okay and create it so now uh, you know the repo has been created along with the readme file okay so now what i'm going to do as you can actually see in this diagram we have created a repository right now we are going to go into local machine and then create ssh keys using ssh keys and command so this is my local machine so what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually go ahead and then create SSH keygen. So this is the command. So it's already there, you know, that's fine. You can actually re, you know, override that. So now I have created. So I'm going to actually view that key, view the public key. So this is the public key. I'm going to copy this and go into uh, GitHub. I'm going to go to my settings, your profile, and uh, let's see here. Okay, I think you'll have to go to settings. Yeah, settings. Go to SSH and the GPG keys, and then I'm going to add my keys here. So I'm going to say my local key, October 5th, and then paste that. Okay, and then add. And I'm going to log in. So that's it, right? My key has been added. Now I should be able to clone, isn't it? Okay, so let's actually go and click on the repositories. So we created uh, this repository. Okay, so what I'm going to do, uh, go to clone. I'm going to copy the S uh, SSH URL. Okay, so copy this and go into my local machine. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually, uh, let's actually clone, okay. So clone command is not there, I'm going to go ahead and then put that, see here, it's done. So now it should have created a project, right, or folder with that name, okay. See here, we are able to see our readme file, isn't it, okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to my steps. And then if you actually look at this step, what we are, what we have done, we already created keys and then we also uploaded into GitHub and we also clone as well. And then next step is, you know, create a Java project using Maven. Okay. 
So that step is actually given here. So I'm going to use my maven command and uh, go to my local machine. Oops, sorry, I already have a window open here. Okay, where is that? Yeah. Okay, let me leave my instruction here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and create uh, my Java project. Okay, so right now it's created. If I say git status, right, you see here, you are able to see the my web app, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually push that change. So how you're going to do that? You'll have to first add, okay? And then if I say status, it's gonna, you know, the red become green because it was untracked earlier. Now, you know, these are ready to be committed. Okay, and then I'm going to commit. I'm gonna say my first project setup in GitHub, okay? And then I'm gonna say git push. Before that, I wanna show you this. You see here, what does this mean when I say git status? It is saying that my local branch is ahead of origin master by one commit. So as you all know, git is a distributed repository, right? So whenever you clone what it does, it actually creates an entire repository in your local machine along with all the histories and everything. Okay, so that's what it is. So it says that our local repo is ahead of um, master by one commit right so all you have to do is perform git push perfect right it's all looking good if i go back here if i just say refresh you see here we were able to uh, see whatever we have actually pushed from our local machine um, github all right guys thank you for watching you all have a good day